All right, boys and girls, let's do a little fistulography 101. This is the body of the fistula that I've accessed and I'm doing an angiogram. You can see my wires looped here. Just FYI, there's a little kink here that I had a difficult time getting the wire through, but we'll come back to that later. So here's a nice central shot, right? And if you look closely, you can see a stent there and there's basically instant stenosis. On this edge of the stent, uh, contrast coming in, it narrows right there. You can see visually there's a narrowing. There's reflux into this big vein. So this is the problem. This is the stenosis. This is the reason the patient's on the table, right? I'm gonna go ahead and plasty that now. I don't see the balloon, but we did take it up and it was an eighth. It looks better. Uh, is it perfect? No, but it does look better. That reflux that was going down the basilic is gone. If it's good enough, I usually end my case right there. If I see there's a lack of reflux, there's decent flow, it's improved off the eight, I'm inclined to just let it be. Um, you could take this up, maybe another size. You could also irritate the vein. The vein could respond to that irritation by closing down. You could form a clot there. So I don't really wanna go there. I'm happy with what it looks like. Now I was talking about that spot where my wire hung up on the first image. So we hit that with a six. We got a reasonable result on it right there. And that is that. That is Fistulography 101. Thank you for watching.